Okay, guys. The only thing I did is I put a very light burr texture on the bottom of my 60 cut, which is a common thing for me to do. I almost always have it blended in, but sometimes it likes the sharp cut better. Well, let's take a look at uh, how we're looking in here. This looks excellent like it did last time, so I'm glad we didn't lose anything there. Can you see the little splatters on the exhaust or around the plug nicely? This looks great. This also looks great. Okay. I really like the way that looks. Great pattern. A little bit narrower pattern in the bowl. Interesting. You can still see I have a decent size bottom uh, of the 60 cut. But it, it has been just touched with the burr. How does our valve look? Looks good like it did last time. It really hasn't changed. As far as this, looks good like it did last time. It is a touch narrower, but I'm not really sweating that. As long as it looks good in the bore and it looks good in the chamber, I think that's, that's a lot of the battle. Okay, this should be relatively quick because it was literally only a few seconds of, of grinding and throw it back on the bench. So, interesting what happened with our flows, right? This is what we had before that you guys just saw. And this is, this was seven, this is eight. The only thing I did is I changed that, put a little bit of a radius with uh, my old beat up double cut burr. So it is a rough texture. It's an important point to make. I know a lot of guys make it, uh, like to polish it just before it goes into the valve job. Other guys like a burr there. Okay. Minus, 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 plus, 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 plus. How big are the minuses? Small. How big are the pluses? Small. Is it, is it a wash? This has a tiny, tiny advantage as far as flow, as far as I'm concerned. But I like, I think the liquid looks even better on this one than it did on this one. And this one was excellent. Now, so what we have to do is we have to go by our swirl and we have to go by our air speeds. So let's take a look at our swirl. This is what our swirl was. This is what it is. Okay, I said I liked it. some action here really kind of dead until we hit here and then we get some action and then it dies and then it, it takes off. I like this a touch better than this. Not much, not much. They're very close and they're both more than enough to get the job done. In fact, this is a little bit too high. This is actually better at 600. So that's important. Now we're going to compare these air speeds to these air speeds. Let me finish doing the pluses and minuses. Okay, interested in what you guys think about what's going on here. Now, they're both taken at 600. So we gained a tiny bit of flow, but now this actually does like a flow ball. It goes to 232. Okay, so what is that telling me? It's telling me the short side's getting a little fast, and it is. I mean, if we compare our short side speeds, this stayed exactly the same. We gained a tiny bit here, but we gained quite a bit here, but... These are more even across than these. So that's an important fact. Now, that may also dictate where in the curve it starts to lose it as far as lift. I'm not really going to worry about that. They're relatively close. Uh, I'm not going to modify that short side anymore. It is what it is. And uh, I think those speeds, although they are a bit fast... Considering what we've got and the flow we've got, I don't think we're going to do any better. The part I do like about this is both of these went up. Now, we only gained a few here. And we only gained a few here, but they're more even and they're faster on the roof. So we're using that bowl a little more efficiently. And what happened with our pinch? Well, we only gained a tiny bit of CFM, but all of our pinch speeds went up. In fact... I really could give it a little more area in the pinch. I don't know if it will help, I'll be honest. 
You guys can give me your input on that. And uh, we'll talk about that in the comments. All right, I might as well talk about throttle body injection for a second. I knew I had a completely stock Rockchester two barrel fuel injection somewhere. This one you can see I did my my quickie burr radius on the top. It'll be kind of interesting to flow this one and then flow this one and see if there even is a difference because I've never done that experiment. Okay, I don't know how long these have been sitting around, probably a really long time. And then we can take this modified one and go heads up on our two inch that was donated. Okay, we got a Holly two inch. Now we can compare it right to this and then I can do some work to this and then we can measure the differences. What I'm interested in is, give me some ideas on how you guys would like me to test these uh, three different throttle bodies and I'll see if I can accommodate. Now I could test them all on my heavily modified throttle body injection manifold. I haven't been able to find my spacer plates. So I can't check it on a regular four barrel intake. Or we can just test them right on the bench. We'll strip the bench down and just, we'll do something like this. We'll take a PTS plate and we'll put a slight gasket on it. And then we'll put the barrel over that. Now, the only problem with that is this linkage is always in the way. So I may have to use a spacer. I have a wooden block spacer that I've used quite often. I don't know if it's big enough to do the two inch, but that might be an interesting experiment. Okay, I don't know if I've shown you this view lately. Sorry guys, I'm slipping in my old age, but this looks, uh, it looks pretty darn good. Okay, can you see the little bit of texture I added? Now my 60 degree cut is still pretty deep. So I didn't take off that much. And I didn't want to change it a lot. But it did give, give me a little more top end flow, which was nice because we lost some texturing that valve. But we did get better liquid control. So we're going to have to fight the battles we can fight. And I'm afraid we're going to have issues with liquid on, on this project. Probably not with a good carburetor, but I'm, not, I'm worried about that siphon carburetor. The more I think of it, I'd love to have... The BBD, have them cut it for a monoblade, and then have one annular discharge booster in the middle of it. I think that would be that would be pretty cool. Maybe it may work better with two smaller annular discharge boosters. But I'm not a carb guy, so just my little brain, my little half watt light bulb dimly in the dark recesses of my head. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.